Hello everybody, I'm Mark Evers. Uh, today I am just going to do a quick little review on some uh, printing paper that I picked up. I recently picked up this Ilford Gallery um, Gold Mono Silk uh, 13 by 19 paper. It, uh, it's something that I, I picked up just to, to try out, just because I do enjoy printing out black and white, so I thought I'd give it give a try for some paper that is basically rated to be exclusively for black and white. So there's, I'll show you a few sample photos that I printed out. And uh, as a note, the last photo uh, might not be suitable for work. It's a little bit of a lingerie slash boudoir type photo. So I'll give you some warning when I get to that point, just in case you are viewing this from work or they're offended by that sort of material. So, anyways, let's uh, let's get started. This first print, is something that I printed, uh, I took this photo when I was down in Toronto a few years ago, uh, doing doing a little bit of street shooting, and I thought this was well suited as a black and white photo. The tones came up beautifully, nice dark tones and nice light tones. Uh, pretty much uh, a, a representation of what I see on the screen when I edit it. There's another one that I took when I was doing street shooting uh, down in Toronto again. Uh, just as a note, these are all printed on, as I said, it's a 13 by 19 paper, but uh, whenever I print that large, I always put a one inch border all the way around just to add some character to it. And I also have this lovely headshot I did with the model a few years ago. And again, tones are nice. The, the, the detail is, is amazing that, that uh, got printed out. It uh, held up quite well printing it out this large. And this is uh, another portrait I took a few years ago. Uh, again, obviously treat it in black and white, but again, the details are there. The, the, the print held up quite well. Tones are all nice. Basically, again, exactly what I see on my screen. Another one here, some more street photography. Um, again, this one appears to be a little bit hazy, and I'm not even sure if you can see it on the uh, through the YouTube or not, but uh, it is a little bit hazy, but that's because there is, is some smoke that was uh, coming from the barbecue that this gentleman was cooking on. But the the tones and everything are beautiful, held up very well. And this is from a wedding that I just did fairly recently. Um, I had actually printed this one out in color for the the bride and groom, and uh, I gave it to them. But uh, I've Decided to do a black and white print for myself to see how I liked it and again use this paper and quite pleased with the results of that one. And uh, finally, this is the, uh, the one that might not be suitable, so you can either stop now or fast forward or continue watching whichever you want. But again, nice tones, details all there, and uh, turned out quite well. So, anyways, my thoughts on the paper in general. It is a 270 gram paper. I do wish that it was a little bit thicker. Uh, I do do find when I pull it at the paper out of the box, the corners seem to be curled a little bit, and, and it feels nice in the hands. It feels nice and thick, but it's ob obvious that it's not as thick as it could be. And um, I, I did on a couple of the prints that I did. I did notice that in the corners, because of a little bit of paper curling, I was getting some head strikes. Um, but uh, otherwise, uh, other than that, I'm quite pleased with the the, the way the prints came out. Um, now, one thing to note is the, the 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 tones, the brightness, and everything is basically it was bang on matching what I saw on my screen. Uh, my monitor is calibrated. But the, the calibration tool that I have, it's an older one. It doesn't calibrate. It won't do printer calibration. So I'm considering upgrading. And the, the reason for that is I find with 
my color prints, when I print them out in color, they actually tend to be a little bit darker than what I see on the screen. So that is one thing that I do notice that there is a little bit of of uh, difference between this paper printing out in black and white and the normal Red River paper that I use when I print out in black and white. Usually the Red River paper, I have to bump the exposure close to half a stop to get it to be a closer match to what I see on the screen. And so I actually suspect that this paper here, if my screen was matching my prints properly, that I think the paper might actually be a little bit lighter than what I see on the screen. Just because the balance just seems to be a little bit off. But um, other than that, it works well. I did all the printing on my uh, Canon Pro 10. And uh, again, very pleased with the results. Overall, I'm quite happy with the paper. Like I said, the tones come out really nice. A little bit of curling. Maybe maybe I've got an old box that's got a little bit of moisture in it. I don't know. But it was bought brand new. And uh, but overall, I would give it a very high rating. I, I really enjoy printing on that paper. And the, probably for doing my black and white work, I think I'll probably continue to use that paper and keep my Red River paper for my color work. So... I hope that you have found this information useful. Uh, again, it's a uh, Ilford uh, Gallery Gold Mono Silk paper, and it is it, it is supposed to be exclusive for printing black and white uh, images. I'll uh, leave some links down in the description to where you can find this paper. And uh, if you have any questions, just leave them down below. If you like this information, subscribe and. If you think you have any friends who do printing that might find this information useful, feel free to share. Thank you very much. Bye.